haven't done this in forever. <sighs> Good morning, guys. <laughs> it's moving day. Um, so it's like 6:30 a.m. I think. I don't know. It's still dark outside. It's early as hell. Um, I look exhausted because I am exhausted. Um, <laughs> this isn't so stressful. I feel as though we were definitely not prepared for this move. Um, but today we have the movers from eight to five, I think. I don't know. They're supposed to show up between eight and 11 till whatever time they're done. Um, today we're packing and loading. Um, and then we will get our stuff in North Carolina. So it's been, it's been a lot. <laughs> Yesterday was Nick's bullet graduation. Um, so yeah, we're getting ready to get out of Oklahoma. So I thought that I would vlog this move for you guys, um, just in case you wanted to see it. Some of you have may never move before, so you get a little inside peek and some of you can relate to this all too well. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of running around doing little shit right now, trying to get ready. Um, I'm finishing laundry, trying to get the dog stuff together. Um, I had to pack up all my electronics and basically, you know, camera, chargers, all that kind of stuff. Nick had a doctor's appointment for his airborne physical, so he's away doing that. And I'm waiting for the movers to get here. Like I said, they're going to be here between like 8 and 11 um hopefully more towards 11 um so we can like go grab breakfast really quickly and i'm actually taking the dogs to doggy daycare so they will get to play all day and won't be underfoot or you know kenneled up all day long so yeah that's pretty much where we are for the day our apartment is an absolute pigsty it's really giving me anxiety and stressing me out but i'm trying to stay positive Everything's gonna get boxed up and we'll meet it on the other end. It's actually a direct drive, I believe. Like, we're the last ones on the truck and the last ones off the truck, I wanna say. But our stuff does not need to go into temporary storage or anything like that, which is nice because that's usually when it kinda gets damaged. But like I said, I'm here by myself right now. Um, it's good prep because when we get to North Carolina, it's gonna be like a high buy situation because Nick has to go to school for roughly three weeks um so he will be heading to georgia the day after we arrive in north carolina so we're each driving our own cars with one dog um and we will meet in north carolina get the keys to our new house and then he will be leaving us uh, we're actually going to be here for a few extra days nick took some leave and he is required to stay here um so we will hopefully be leaving here the 29th. Oh my god, I didn't even tell you guys what day it is. It's Thursday the 24th. So hopefully in like four or five days we will be getting on the road. It's probably going to take us like three days to get there just because we have the dogs. We have to stop frequently and I despise driving. I get so bored. It'll take us about three days. We're hoping to get into our house by February 1st. And yeah, it should be smooth sailing from there. I'm just gonna finish up, kind of straightening up, emptying trash cans, finishing up the laundry, making sure everything is in order, packing the dog's bag for daycare, and then I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Stop. Oh my God, they're so stressed out. They don't know what to do. Bindi, what's happening? What's Marshall, you're getting my camera dirty. Oh my god, it's so empty. There's an echo. What? <laughs> what? Are you guys freaked out? All that's left is your bed. Look, that's all that's left. Just your bed. And a little sign. <laughs> Are you guys so happy? Look, there's so much room for activities. Wow, we really need to vacuum. Holy crap. <laughs> so just a quick check-in. We are empty. Look at it. <laughs> Look at the mug there. Um, so we are officially all packed up and loaded. Nick is downstairs doing paperwork with them. I just picked up the dogs from daycare. It is frigid out. 
Um, but yeah, I'm exhausted, but I'm really excited that it's done. I've been dreading it. Um, so yeah, we're officially moving. It's real, it's happening. Our stuff is on its way to North Carolina. You guys, look at the amount of dog toys I found under our couch once they boxed it up and took it down to the truck. This is ridiculous. <laughs> There's like six things here. That's crazy. Where is it all? Where is it all? Somebody took your stuff. Somebody took your bed. Where's your toys? Where is it all at? Where is he? <laughs> She's not happy. Somebody took your bed. <laughs> How do you feel about the empty house? Me? Good. Good? Marshall! Marshall! <laughs> it's so <laughs> empty. It like echoes in here so badly now. Oh, good boy. Sit, sit. Oh, this drool. Ew. Sit, sit. Stay. Nope, stay. He didn't stay. He's feeding the dogs in the Waffle House parking lot. Is that good? You have breakfast. Bindi, eat. Eat your food. Oh my God, look at your car. What? It's so full. <laughs> hey guys, so it is currently Thursday, January 31st. The th yeah, it's the 31st. Um, please excuse my parents. I'm literally, <laughs> I'm struggle busing. Face is breaking out. Actually, you know what? No, I don't apologize. We're literally moving. I haven't worn makeup in two weeks. I look disgusting, I know. Um, and my hair is literally in like a dirty braid, like falling out. Just don't mind me. Um, so I just wanted to quickly check in with you guys. Our move is going good so far. So far, no problems. Um, and sorry if my steering wheel is like in your view. Um, my tripod is not working. It broke. Um, so we're just gonna have to set you guys on my dash. We're currently still driving. We are our, shoot, I don't even know. I feel like we have like four hours left or so. Yesterday we drove like over not, I think it was like closer to like 10 and a half hours. Um, just because we were both, like Nick and I were both feeling like really good. Um, so we decided that we were just gonna push through as long as we could and honestly we could have gone a little bit further but it was like 10 p.m um and we hit nashville so we decided that because we were in a city we didn't want to stay like obviously in the middle of nowhere we decided that nashville was a good spot to stop also um finding a pet friendly hotel can sometimes be a smidge difficult um so we figured in a big city we would have a lot easier time so yeah we spent the night in nashville so far the drive has been okay um the scenery is like kind of pretty oklahoma is freaking boring if you've ever driven through it like it's horrible um it's so flat but like now at least we're like entering the mountains and stuff um we're going up around Asheville and that kind of thing um Nick and I actually kind of got a little bit separated there was some traffic around like Knoxville um and the speed limit dropped and stuff so I got stuck behind a ton of semi trucks and he just ended up going ahead of me and then I guess our GPS is he's on Google Maps and I'm using the iPhone maps our routes just took us different places my route was actually a little bit faster um but so he ended up taking a different interstate this is gonna be like the fourth video of her sleeping but look how freaking sweet she is I just thought I would quickly check in with you. It is currently 
um, 9.50. We have successfully made it to North Carolina. We're currently in our hotel. Um, yeah, it was a long drive yet again. I actually ended up hitting some traffic, which was kind of frustrating. And Nick and I got a little bit separated and ended up taking two separate routes, which was just like a mess. But we ended up making it. And yeah, so we're just gonna hang out for a little bit. This has been quite the trip. I'm so exhausted. I look so disgusting. I'm probably gonna take a shower and go to bed. I'm watching some TV right this second, but I'm... Um, Marshall! I'm kind of over it and just, I don't want to go to sleep. I am truly exhausted from sitting on my ass for the last 19 hours. So we're about 30 minutes away from the house, so we'll wake up at a decent time tomorrow, get the dogs fed, watered, all that stuff, get some breakfast in us, and go pick up keys. Yay! Um, I'm so excited. I didn't realize that I was gonna be this excited to actually move and get here, but I think it's all kind of finally sinking in. Um, and I'm really looking forward to getting settled. Um, kind of bummed that it's like hitting me that Nick is gonna be gone for such a long time. Well, not, it's not that long. He's gonna be gone for like a month, but it's kind of a long time. Um, so that part kind of sucks, but I'm ready to be settled and just like <sighs> take a deep breath and relax. And I'm excited to go to Home Goods and TJ Maxx and set up the house and all that kind of stuff. Um, so we just have lots of exciting stuff coming up. What'd they get? Beef ribs. Beef ribs. Get down. Off. Sit. <laughs> These are gonna make a mess. Oh well. They deserved them. They were good dogs. Oh yum. Baby. Baby. Mm. What else you got? Oreos. Oreos. Yeah. I got juicy gems. What is that? Pomegranate. Already peeled. What is this? You went for snacks and you come back with fruit? What's this? Ooh, girl! I got some, and I got some uh, butter coffee peanuts from the Carolina Nut Company. Mmm. Local AF. What? Can I have a La Croix? Because. What color you got? They sell those individually? Yeah. That's weird. Lemon. Thank you. Good morning, guys. Um, today is officially move-in day. Um, so we are currently on our way to go get our keys. I literally just took a quick shower. My hair's not gonna dry. Um, and yeah, we're super, super looking forward to it. Sorry, I had to put you guys back on my um, dash. My tripod is just not functioning. Um, so yeah, we're super excited. We're on our way to go get keys and go get all of our stuff put in the house. We need to weigh our cars one last time because um, we have to show that we stayed the same way in order to get refunded. Um, so we're so looking forward to just like being done with this whole experience and I'm really excited to get into the house and just like put everything away and all that stuff. So um, it's about 8.30 right now. No, I lied. My car clock is still on Central Time. It is currently 9.34 right now, um, and we are supposed to be there at 10. Um, it's a little bit th further than I anticipated, so Nick actually went ahead, and I'm about four minutes late. But that's okay. He's the one that has to get the keys and all that stuff, so it's fine. Um, so I'm so excited. I got my Dunkin' coffee. Mm. We are back in the land of Dunkin' Donuts, which makes me so freaking happy. I'm just so excited to be like here. Everything's done pretty much. So fingers crossed everything goes nice and smoothly um, with the house that we have no issues with our paperwork or anything like that. It should all be set, but you never know. And Nick has been in contact with the drivers. They're ready to go. We just have to check them in um, because it is a gated neighborhood. 
um, we do need to kind of check them in and make sure that they can get on. Then we'll get the show on the road and start unpacking and stuff. Um, I'm not gonna do a ton today just because it's gonna be a long day regardless. Shit, I should have brought sunglasses. Um, it's gonna be a long day regardless, but I definitely want them to put together like the beds and like unpack like the super important like electronics and stuff. like our big TV and stuff like that. I just want to make sure that nothing's broken or damaged because we miles, would have to right on to North Carolina 27 toward Cameron. We would have to claim that right then and there before they leave. All right, move in is complete. We have all of our boxes. We have a dog here. Um, yeah, all of our stuff is in. This place looks absolutely trashed, but it's okay. We'll work through it. Yeah, I'm so excited. All of the boxes and everything's here. Can't wait to start unpacking. What is up you guys? Um, so today is Sunday, February 3rd, I think. <laughs> um, and it is about like one o'clock now. Um, this morning I actually slept in a little bit. I woke up at like eight um, and then I actually took the dogs for a walk and we went and grabbed some Dunkin' Donuts coffee. So I've just been really on the computer the whole time doing a lot of shopping. Um, I got our couch ordered, which I'm really excited about, and um, a few rugs and that kind of stuff. Um, I haven't really started buying like a ton of accessories or anything just because like I need to see the layout of the house and how the furniture is all gonna fit. Um, and I did get like a little bistro table and some chairs for our kitchen. So I've uh, just been on like a spending spree. Nick is gonna be thrilled with me when he gets back. Um, so he left yesterday morning, Saturday morning, um, and arrived safely in Georgia and everything. So I've just been kind of hanging out with the dogs, chilling, you know. It's kind of a dingy day out. I don't know, I was gonna go run some errands, but I'm just not feeling it. I'd rather just stay home. So we got some sleepy dogs back there. Um, so yeah, pretty much just a lazy Sunday. I think I'm the only person in the entire world that didn't realize today was Super Bowl Sunday. Oops. So yeah, that's pretty much how today is going. Um, I think that I'm going to be concluding the moving vlog here very shortly. I don't know how long this one's going to be. I know I filmed and vlogged a lot. How many clips I'm actually going to keep in. Um, I don't want it to be like three hours of just like me driving and talking at you. So um, I think I'm gonna start editing this kind of soon. I don't know, we'll see. I really need to clean the kitchen. This is disgusting and a mess. So I'm gonna go do that. Hey guys, so I apologize for my appearance. I just got out of the shower um, and the background is not the cutest. Um, I have like boxes and like paper behind me and stuff, um, but we're just gonna fight through it. Um, so I quickly, before I conclude this vlog, just kind of wanted to like sit down, I guess, and like chat. Um, and like, I don't know if I want to vent or like, I don't know. I just want to tell you guys kind of what's been going on in my mind and how I've been feeling and that kind of thing. Um, so recently I posted on Instagram that I was taking a bit of a hiatus just to give myself some time to settle my personal life, obviously like get this move done um, and kind of just reflect and think about what I want to do from a YouTube social media standpoint. Um, and 
I have had sufficient time to think. It's been about three weeks now. Um, and it, it's been nice to actually have a break. There's been no pressure to post, no stress like, oh my god, I have to upload this picture. Like, I need to do my makeup four times today because I'm going out of town. Um, sorry if you can hear the dogs in the background. That kind of thing. Um, and it's just been a little bit of a relief for me and kind of a weight off my shoulders that I know I put there myself. Obviously, I... This is all self-induced. Um, but I kind of just wanted to give you guys an idea of where I'll be going from here um, and kind of my vision. And um, so yeah, I just, I thought we could just like do a little casual sit down. I'll tell you guys a little bit about it. I know I was having a little bit of like a social media self-identity crisis. Um, and I didn't know if I wanted to switch to blogging or if I wanted to stick with YouTube. Um, and I realized the root of that issue was a little bit deeper. It wasn't necessarily what social media platform I wanted to use, but more of what do I want to do with it? Um, so I kind of narrowed down my goals a little bit more and I've decided that I'm going to continue with YouTube. Um, I do enjoy making videos and... I love interacting with people and it's a hobby of mine and quite frankly I've also invested a ton of money into it and a lot of effort into it already so I don't want to necessarily let the dream die yet um, but with that being said I have a little bit of a different vision for my channel I will still obviously be uploading beauty and makeup related content and I love doing reviews, I love doing first impressions, um, but I think that I am going to dial back the tutorials a little bit more just because I don't get as much of a response or quite the interaction on those types of videos that I usually hope for. Um, and I think that with my YouTube channel to incorporate that like blogging piece and kind of that which I want a little bit more, um, I'm going to be including a lot more lifestyle stuff, I think. Um, I definitely want to vlog a lot more, and I think that I will have more to vlog about now that the wedding's approaching, we've moved, um, we have a lot of, lot of exciting things coming up this year, so I'm thinking that I have a little bit more content in that area to kind of flesh out, um, that category a little bit. Additionally to my YouTube channel, 2019 is the year I really want to focus on building my freelance business. I started out pretty strong in 2018 and it just really fizzled very quickly. And that was kind of sad for me because I really, really loved it. I was making good money. It was fun to meet new people. So um, I really want to get back into that and I really want to focus on building a business and YouTube is not going to be a side gig. It's still going to be a main outlet for me, but I really do want to focus on getting back out there, getting clients, updating my portfolio, having a website, that kind of thing. And I kind of decided along with freelancing a little bit more, um, I am going to offer lessons. Like, you know, I'm going to do mini lessons, like how to apply eyelashes, like in-person kind of one-on-one -on -one teaching moments that I think people would just benefit so much more from than me sitting in front of a camera and teaching you how to fill in your eyebrows or something. I just feel as though it's hard to teach things via the internet. Um, and I'm not saying I'm completely eliminating tutorials, but I think from a business standpoint, it's smart for me to incorporate that as a in-person kind of thing. So every now and then I will upload tutorials um, and I am still going to post a lot of makeup looks on my Instagram. That's gonna be kind of my book slash portfolio, I guess you could say. Um, and if you guys see something on there that you want me to film a tutorial, I'm more than happy to just tell me. Um, but I think I definitely want to do a lot of reviews and uh, like I said, a lot of vlogs. I want to do some more fun videos and I do want to give myself a upload schedule just because I think I need that structure in my life. 
but I'm not gonna put pressure on myself to upload a shitty video just because it's Thursday and I haven't uploaded my second video for the week yet. Um, so at first it might be a little bit of a slow start. We might dumb it down to one video a week. Um, and I think that I've just really been enjoying playing with makeup and being creative and I'm going to post multiple times a week on my Instagram, but I'm not necessarily going to upload multiple videos. Um, I really just, you know, I've decided that I need to focus and dial in on my content and make sure it's really, really good. It's quality over quantity always. So that's kind of where I'm at just after an assessment of how I was feeling, you know, with social media. And I just, I was really struggling with the fact that I was not getting the interaction on videos and on Instagram posts that I really, really wanted. Um, it's hard when you dedicate four hours to filming a video and then another six to editing it. And then, you know, you're struggling with uploading and you're being creative and you're putting yourself out there and you only get a few views on it. It's it's hard, it's really, it's difficult and nobody's sharing, nobody's commenting, commenting, nobody's liking. It's, it's, you know, you really have to feel secure in what you're doing and you have to remind yourself that you don't need validation to continue on, but in a way you do because that's how you build your following and that's how you get a clientele and that's how you make money so it's it's really hard for me because I was I was struggling with the numbers game a little bit and you know it's tough when you post an Instagram story and do a poll and you know only 15 people participate and you have 700 followers. You know, it's not just about having followers, but it's about interacting with them and them interacting with you and them really enjoying and being, you know, dedicated and loyal to what you're posting. And just building that base where you're a community and it's not just like, oh, I'm looking at her makeup pictures scrolling through Instagram. It's people asking, what lip color is that? Teach me how to do this. And I just really, I want to like to be friends and like talk and it just sometimes feels a little bit lonely and like, what's the point? Why am I doing this? And I'm not, this is not woe is me, like nobody likes me, nobody likes what I'm posting. I know it has every bit to do with me that I need to push myself a little bit further. I need to be different. I need to come out of my comfort zone. I need to be consistent. So I know that it starts with me and I'm not asking you guys for likes and follows and all that kind of stuff on Instagram. Um, but you know, it, it's just like, this is how people feel when they're in the social media business. It is a numbers game and it is difficult to, you know, put yourself out there and wait for the results. It's not instantaneous. You're not loved immediately. You don't get a million followers in the first 30 days. So I think that I really want to continue and push myself and get there. So what I just want to say thank you so much for being patient with me. Um, and I hope that this kind of gives a better idea of my plan for the future and just reevaluating kind of what I want to do. And I'm really excited for 2019. I've been making lists of video ideas and I'm just trying to choose things that you guys will enjoy and things you'll actually want to watch. I think that I do want to really continue with YouTube and I do really want to continue with freelancing. So, you know, we're just going to take it day by day. Of course, I'll always take recommendations and always take suggestions of what you guys want to see. Um, but I'm just going to put less pressure on myself to please everyone and remember the main reason why I'm doing this. Um, you know, it's, it's not supposed to be stressful. It's not supposed to give me anxiety or make me upset or feel bad about myself. Um, it's a hobby that is supposed to bring me joy foremost and help people. So I really just want to emphasize that that is my goal. I love makeup because it makes people feel good about themselves and it makes people feel creative and express themselves. And that's really why we're all here. So yeah, again, thank you so much, first of all, for sticking through this long part of the video. I'm sorry. Um, I just really wanted to get all that off my chest. And yeah, I'm really excited for what's to come in the future. It's going to be awesome.
been just fine before I met you I drink too much and that's an issue, but I'm okay 